Hey guys, new series time. We're going to be looking at macro Overwatch concepts and we're going to start off with episode 1, an introduction to spam, crawl and dive. Let's jump straight into the video. Hello there. By the way, long time no see, sorry for the long hiatus, but I'm back now with some more juicy content. Anyways, dive, ball and spam. These are just words to describe different categories of team compositions. You probably know what they are already, but this video is just to make sure that we are all on the same wavelength. Ball, sometimes known as Rush, is a close-knit composition where you all play together in one massive death ball. You are kind of like whoever Dwayne The Rock Johnson plays in that movie Skyscraper. You just run at stuff and hope it works out for the best. These compositions want to close distance, play aggressive, and just annihilate everyone and everything. Ball heroes are like Reinhardt, Zarya, Reaper, Mei, Symmetra, Lucio, Moira, all of those lot. This is everybody's favourite type of composition because in general it is best played aggressively. These guys absolutely hate open areas of the map but love closed areas, chokes and corners. Moving on. Spam, sometimes known as poke is a really boring style of composition that likes long sight lines and map control. This composition is literally all about map control and controlling the sight lines so the enemy cannot set up or approach you without being melted down and dying. Spam often has heroes like Orisa, Sigma, Farah, Echo, Hanzo, Junkrat, Baptiste and Zenyatta. Anyone that can either dish out insane damage over distance or can control sight lines like Widowmaker. Spam often targets enemy shields and tanks to put down reliable pressure. In Overwatch you might hear a teammate tell you that you win the shield war. This basically means if both teams are just targeting each other's shields then the team who breaks the other team's shield first are going to win unless the other team can close the distance or use ultimates. This is where the spam composition often thrives because they usually have two shields and a lot of damage. Moving on from this dumb toxic composition, we have Dive. Dive is a composition that everybody constantly plays incorrectly. It's a type of composition that has a lot of mobility and can close distance very, very quickly. They are very good at taking high ground and bursting their resources really quickly to try and win a fight. This composition is more about setting up for your dive, sucking through your ultimates and gaining space than it is about just pressing all of your buttons on the enemy supports but I'll talk about that in more detail in a later video. This composition is like the final stand in Lord of the Rings, where the enemy team are just talking to each other on point whilst you slowly surround them before the enemy main tank says, and they win the fight of a dumb EMP. So that's the three main types of compositions. Which one is the best zero? Well, my sea worms, that is a really silly question. In general, and I'll add about 10 billion asterisks to the statement, but ball beats dive, Dive beats Spam, and Spam beats Brawl. It's like rock, paper, scissors, but it's more tilting and at the end of the evening, you get to cry yourself to sleep. Brawl beats Dive because both teams want to play close and Brawl can just yeet their damage freely. Dive beats Spam because Dive can play split and they have the mobility to bypass Spam composition sightlines. And Spam beats Brawl because they can use their long range damage to stop Brawl from getting anywhere near them. Anyways, I have been rambling on for long enough. I don't want these videos to be too long. This video was intentionally brief. The next video in this series will cover ball in more detail. So yeah, go and check that out. Love you all. Bye.